Hello everyone, this is Amin and welcome to my first Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial we will be talking about the basics of Cinema 4D and the interface and different tools. So let's get started. Uh, here we have the objects uh, manager. If you drop any object in the scene you will be seeing it here. And here we have something called the attributes manager like every object you drop has its own properties from the size, the radius and different things you will see everything that you can edit about that object here in this attributes manager here we have the materials box and this one we will use it to add materials to our object and colors and such on and here we have different tools so let's start by this one this is the selection tool and you can use the selection tool to select any object in your scene of course you can use the uh, object manager to select also any object you want but uh, this one will be helpful if you want to select any polygons and we will get into more, uh, more into that later here we have the moving tool and we will use it to move our object around the scene and uh, here we have the scaling tool to scale our object up or down and this tool helps you to increase the general size of your object if you want to edit some uh, uh, some specific area of your object you can use the attributes manager here and here we have the rotation tool to help you to uh, operate rotating your object around the scene on this side we see the object that we can drop and add to our scene for example if you click on this and it will reveal you the objects like the cube the sphere and other types if you click on a, uh, on a cube it will reveal itself here and also you can get the attributes of it right here the coordinates uh, the position x y and z the scale also and the rotation and uh, the other type of things we can add to our scene is the the splines the splines pretty much don't work by themselves like you need to add them to other things to work so if we will delete these things and add and use a uh, sorry a, a, a b spline and uh, change the viewport if you click on this icon it will give you the uh, all the view, uh, viewports in your scene the top the right the front and you can change them to anything you want so if we go to the front viewport and start drawing something here anything so and then what we can do with this thing uh, we will use something called a nerves and the nerves is like when you use different splines to make something and we will use the lighting nerves here and we will take the spline and drag drop it into the nerves and look what we have we have this shape now of course we can use other types of nerves into making different shapes and everyone has its own job and maybe we will get into that later if we want to make a specific thing okay the other uh, type of tools here is the uh, something also can help you in making your scene so for example if you drop a cube and also drop a sphere and you see here the uh, before uh, before I get into that these are the uh, the tools that you will use to move around your scene this is the moving tool to move uh, uh, around the whole scene this is the zooming tool like if you want to go in or out and this is also the rotation tool to rotate around your scene okay so you see here if we get the sphere into the cube they interface each other so we will use something called the bully tool and we will drop both of these objects into the bully tool we will see something here it's happening so let's rotate here look the cube just uh, cut cut the uh, edge of the sphere into two pieces and if we go to the pool uh, attributes and we go to the object we see here different things for example a subtract b so if we change the order of these tools look what's happening now the sphere is subtracting the cube and also we have other things for example a intersects b and this gives you the space between the objects like uh, the space between the sphere is interfacing into the cube 
and here we have the different lights and cameras we will add to the scene and we will get more into them in the next tutorial that we will talk about the render settings for still images here we have something called the object effector and for example if you add a cube here and then maybe add a taper and drop it inside the cube and start playing with these settings you will get different shapes and different looks of that cube which will, you can use to, to build something that you want to do or to make a custom shapes that you want uh, it's pretty useful and yeah we will use that pretty much in the animation to make different animation for text or any object and uh, last but not least here we have the emitters and uh, effectors for different animation like a wind if you have like uh, any uh, some sort of balloon animation and you want to add the wind to make it go somewhere you can use the wind tool and yeah that's pretty much about these tools uh, that you can add to your scene okay here we have the other uh, uh, set, uh, set of tools and we will use them in editing the shape of an object so for example if we add a cube and then increase the segments of it like 3 by 3 by 3 then we have something called making an editable object by clicking the letter C on the keyboard or by clicking on this uh, shortcut here so we see now the lines of the cube turn blue so what we will do we can make we can use the uh, selection tool and start selecting the points of the uh, object and start moving them around or we can use the line selection like to select a line and move it around or maybe a face like to get this one inside and this one outside you can make it like as, as ever uh, what you like and of course there are some things that you can use to improve that uh, pr process of editing the shape of any object you have and this one we will use to also edit our object for example if we take a loop selection it will help us to, to make a selection around the shape of that object and yeah that could be really really useful okay and these are some other types of selection here we have something to edit the structure of the shape like for example we have something called the extrude inner like we can click and drag inside to make something like this then we can go to structure again and use the extrude to make this uh, part of that object go inside or outside or anything or any shape that you want here we have something very important and it's the MoGraph or the physics uh, engine for the Cinema 4D and this is one of the reasons that I am using the Cinema 4D because it's very very powerful so if we like for example drop a cube and then maybe uh, I'm sorry go to the MoGraph and add the cloner object and drop the cube inside it okay we can you we can make something pretty cool with it we can increase the size we can like make a particle system with it it's a bit different but yeah you can make different different shapes with it and there is also uh, the text object and I think this uh, what I could cover in this uh, short tutorial and uh, yes yeah, starting the uh, next tutorial we will make the last part of it like for, for your questions so if you have any question about any tool or any animation or anything you want to do drop me a comment here or on my facebook page or anywhere and hopefully we can make this solved and yeah i will see you in the next tutorial soon goodbye